Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's conversation. We are very excited to bring you the latest and greatest from TapClicks. Today, we're going to be talking about our GA4 templates and our ongoing communication with you about the best practices around GA4 and all of the assets and, and tips, tricks, and solutions that TapClix has available for you around GA4. So today we have Andrew Hurley from our solutions team together with Yogesh, who is one of our lead engineers on the GA4 project, and we are going to be going through all of this. So we're excited to share this with you. Again, TapClix is a community designed around providing you the best data solutions available, making your life easier and automating all of your data marketing solutions, bringing them into one place and allowing you to do exactly what you want with them, exactly when you want with them. So to open it up today, I'm going to go to Andrew and ask, Andrew, what are templates really designed to do and, and why are they even there? What are we what are we even talking about here today? Yeah, absolutely. So we have, um, you know, quite a few templates in the TapClicks platform that are available right out of the box. Um, and so templates are really designed to get our customers up and running um, as fast as possible on our platform. So we're really always trying to look for ways to decrease the time to value so that when somebody either joins TapClicks for the first time and is setting up their instance with the assistance of the onboarding team, or they are just moving to a new data source in which they need to take advantage of a template to get them up and running. Um, we utilize those templates to make sure that people have uh, visualizations that work for them really well um, as quickly as possible. And so we can always make tweaks to, the, tweaks to those templates. So that's why we also have a professional services team. Uh, but templates just really decrease that time to value. So it's kind of like training wheels for a customer coming on board, right? <laughs> get your data in and be able to visualize it as quickly as possible. Yep, absolutely. It's a great way to think about it. Awesome. So if you're a marketing agency out there and you're looking to get your GA4 data or your customer's GA4 data in, the templates are a really great way to show value to your customers quickly and one way to really start differentiating yourself from some of the competition that's out there. Awesome. So Yogesh, why don't you take us through some of the templates? So we really are waiting with bated breath to see exactly what they look like and what the functionality is of them. So I will stop sharing here and you can go ahead and take over. Sure. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, you are up and running. OK, so right now we have these three templates up and running in the platform. Uh, this is Google Analytics 4 template, which is having uh, data uh, from live connectors as well as the stored data. Both are there in this template. Then we have a stored insight template, which is uh, based on the store data that we have in Taplex. And then this is the on-demand template, which is purely on the live call data. So Yo, uh, Yogesh, can you show us just exactly where to find this in the platform? Yeah, sure. So once you will log into your instance, you basically need to go to the dash dashboard section. Uh, over here, you have a uh, option to create a new dashboard. Just click on this. Then you get an option to create a freehand dashboard or a, use a dashboard template. So once you will click on this dashboard template, you will be able to see the list of templates that we have in the library. Uh, just go and uh, type GA4 or just simply 4 on the filters, and you will be able to see all three templates. Those are live awesome. on the platform. Thanks for and, navigating. Sometimes it's it's difficult to find things, and having that yeah. guide is just really helpful to get people zeroed in on exactly where they need to go to get to here. All right. So uh, now you have an option to basically select one of these templates and uh, create a dashboard or out of it. So I'll start with the stored insight because it's it is pretty easy, and uh, anybody who is new to the platform and using this for the first time, it is always easy to use the default data views and build a dashboard out of it. So, so before just, we jump into that, can you help just describe a little bit of the difference between what we consider a stored insight, a, a, you know, a stored connector for the that template and an on-demand connector? So stored are basically, right now we have some default data views. Uh, uh, those are like this, 
uh, store data that we have in the tap clicks instance uh, but if you want to go beyond that and if you want to uh, see your reports on a runtime basis for that you can basically create a dashboard by using live call data and uh, that's where you can basically utilize the second dashboard which is on demand template so stored is basically have some limited data views, but on-demand template gives you a flexibility to use live call data. And uh, you can see your uh, numbers on a runtime basis. So, so if you're looking for historical insights or comparison over a long length of time, that would be better for the stored connector. And if you're looking for what's yeah. happening today or right now in the campaign, the on-demand yeah. connector is better for that. Is that is yes? That and yeah, and you also don't have limitations on the data views. So in the live call, you get everything. But yeah, in store, you you have certain uh, limited data views, which stores your data, historical data, and then that you can utilize and use in your dashboard build. Great. OK, thank you. We also you. have certain, I just wanted to add real quick, Kevin, we also have certain uh, you know, metrics that are coming over from Google that are just um, designed more to be, um, you know, piped into an instance like this um, on a live call basis versus the ones that are um, stored. So there are certain metrics that if, um, if are viewed uh, from a stored perspective, um, just will not be um, quite as accurate as coming through um, live the the live call version. Um, so that's just based on the Google on Google's API as it comes through from Google Analytics. And then we also have just supporting um, you know help uh, you know our, our our help desk articles uh, that basically just you know help to determine when is the best time to use each type of um, connector. As so we we have plenty of resources and and answers to those questions whenever they come up as well. Right. And maybe here's a great time to point out again one of the benefits of using tap clicks for ga4 data versus using google itself is that there is a 14 month look back window that google is allowing you to have data past 14 months is deprecated out of the system right you can't get the data anymore so tap clicks automated data warehouse solution allows you those longer look back windows that are just not available in google awesome yogesh go ahead and take us through that uh, the stored dashboard okay so simply click on this template uh, give a title to this uh, dashboard it's very creative uh, title we have there <laughs> <laughs> if you want to select a client you can do that but as we are just demoing this uh, i'll just enable the demo mode and save this. So now your dashboard is ready. Uh, this is how it will look. And uh, these are the default data views through which you are getting all these numbers. So to start with, we have the key performance indicators where we have captured the details like views, user engagement, total user conversion, engagement rate and even count so these are the important kpis that most of the uh, marketers or companies always look for followed by this we have the daily performance trend this is on event count and views versus conversion so this will give you a daily trend of all these three metrics uh, followed by this we have a conversion by day of week so on which day what uh, number of conversions you have received, you can get a trend of this on this particular chart. Then we have this uh, default channel group overview where we are showing total users versus active users. So again, this is a beautiful widget and we have all these numbers showing in this chart on a daily basis. Then followed by this, we have conversion by channel group. Now these are the default channel group, and uh, this is shown in a pie chart. Followed by this, we have this performance overview by channel group. Again, these are the different channel groups. We have metrics like conversions, total user, and active users captured in this particular widget, and this is how it looks. So right now, these are all default uh, or a demo numbers but once you will select a client you'll be able to see 
the actual number for that particular customer. Uh, then yes, we have the answer, just real quick, Yogesh. Also, if um, you know these values are also randomized as well, just because it's demo data. So if you see some numbers that don't quite make sense, as in you know the number above uh, where where Yogesh was just a moment ago of you know, um, active users being higher than total users, it's just because this is demo data and is randomized. So if you see some values that uh, that that wouldn't quite make sense in the real world, obviously that will that will line up perfectly when uh, when it is filtered to an actual client in, in real life. So just wanted to make sure that that was that was clear as well. Yeah. So these are all default data views. Now we have the events performance overview. Uh, we are showing the conversion by event and then top 10 events. So all the default events will get captured over here, uh, whichever is coming through the historical uh, data. Uh, followed by this, we have overall events performance. Uh, in this, we are capturing the event count, event count per user, conversion, user engagement, total user, and average engagement time. And then followed by this, this is the page performance overview. You have all the pages and then the metrics which we are capturing is views, total user, conversions, user engagement, engagement rate, and event count. So this is a pretty simple, straightforward dashboard, uh, but gives an overall performance of your uh, website. And uh, I mean, this is good for the users who are kind of building a dashboard from scratch and just want to see an overall performance of their uh, website so this, this is, is awesome yeah. and in terms of customization from this point right they can customize any of these widgets move things around add things to these key performance indicators if they have different metrics that they want to see at the top right yes yes they can always customize this they can always add more widgets to this and uh, i mean you have flexibility to even remove some of the widgets if that don't make sense to your business awesome so this is just the starting point right yeah and then we have this filter as well where you can basically uh, select a client and then you'll get a, a data of that particular customer if you want i can just try with one yeah let's see if this one works yeah now you can see for this particular client Tap clicks demo. This is how things looks. I think it might still be on demo mode, yeah. Yogesh. Do you mean just kind of scrolling up and going to the, the three dots up there and just turning off yeah, demo yeah. mode? Then right. I think we should be good. Yeah. I think if you go to let's try on just Toyota Los Angeles, I think that might be a good, okay. good option there. Um, yeah, any any of those. Yeah, Los Angeles should be great. Okay. Uh, Never yeah. mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can always select some. Uh, so you can drill down into the different data views for the different clients that you have loaded on there. Right. I mean, seems cool. like you don't have any demo data for any of the customers, but yeah. You can always select customers, and then you will get a, a relevant data for that particular client. So this is how we build a, a dashboard in a uh, in, for the stored uh, data views. Great. Can you take us through the on-demand or, or live connector one? Yeah, sure. So again, go to the dashboard uh, section, click on Add New Dashboard, select a dashboard template. And then you have this on-demand template. You can select the client, and then you have option styling options as well. Then simply save this. So this is how our 
uh, on demand templates look like and this is all built on the live call data uh, in this template we have like four section acquisition audience page and events and we have some instructions written on top as well uh, which basically tells you to uh, to assign a client when you're using this particular dashboard or this particular template uh, otherwise you won't find these numbers it is mandatory to assign a client whenever you're using this template which is built on live call data and uh, then only you will be able to see the numbers for that particular client or that particular assignment uh, so in this we have the flexibility to get as many as data which google provide us and we don't have a limitations on the data views so we get almost everything uh, from google that comes to the api now the first section is the acquisition overview over here we have shown this big numbers like session engaged session user engagement duration view total user engagement rate and conversion followed by this we have this uh, session and views weekly trend so this is basically basically a weekly trend i'll just increase the date range and we'll see how it looks yeah so you can see we have the weekly trend for this particular widget then you can also uh, see the total user by channel grouping so these are the default channel group followed by this we have sessions by channel grouping so this is how these uh, uh, pie charts will look like then we have views by channel grouping so these are all like default channel groups and we have metrics like views sessions which we are capturing and showing on these widgets followed by this we have the default channel grouping overview and uh, the metrics that we are capturing is session, engage session, user engagement duration, views, total user, engagement rate, and conversion. So this is a grid widget. Uh, followed by this, we have overall campaign performance. And these are the different uh, session campaigns. And then we have metrics like sessions, engage session, user engagement duration, views, total user, engagement rate, and conversion. So this is the first section in the on-demand template. Followed by this, we have the audience section. In this, the first uh, widget is for age and gender breakdown. So you can uh, see we have sessions by age group. So these are a different age group. And then the number of sessions by each age group is also, also captured over here. Followed by this, we have the overall age group performance. And this is again a grid widget. We have captured more details in this grid widget. Like you can also see the views, user engagement, total user engagement rate, and conversion by the different ages that we have. Uh, then this is the session by gender. Uh, and then this is overall gender performance. Followed by this, we also have uh, uh, data for device pay breakdown so you can have different devices like mobile uh, laptop and whatever like is there you will able to see over here and then you have this grid widget which cap captures the device performance and have more uh, metrics to show oh. then followed by this we have interest breakdown sessions by interest and uh, overall performance by interest. Then la language breakdown. These are different languages shown in a, a pie chart. And then we have overall performance by language. Again, there are like multiple metrics we have captured in this. So this is like a more detailed version of GA4 uh, dashboard because all data are coming through live call and uh, we have more to offer in this template then we have location breakdown as well so you can actually capture sessions by country and this is a sort of heat map for sessions by country so and then we have overall location performance so you can get details like country city region and then 
metrics like sessions views user engagement duration total user engagement rate and conversion so this is more detailed uh, geo breakdown then followed by this we have a section for pages as well this is all about the different pages that you have on your website and how those are performing uh, the kpis are like how many views you got views per sessions screen page views per user and then we have this grid widget which shows you the top 10 pages by view uh, these are the different page titles these are the page path and then you have the view count on this grid widget uh, followed by this we have overall page performance again you will see the page path page title and then the views and followed by this we have additional metrics like views per session screen page views per session sessions user engagement duration total users engagement rate and conversion so this is what we are offering in the pages section followed by this we have the event section uh, again this is the kpi which is shown in a big numbers uh, we have event count event value and event per session this is the conversion by event so there are like default events which will be captured over here and if you have any custom events that will also come on this report uh, followed by this we have this top 10 events overall event performance uh, you will get all your events name over here and then the event count event value and events per session so all these details you will able to see in this particular section so this is what we have in on demand template the only important part is to follow this in instruction if you want to build a template on live call uh, data so yeah, Kevin, that's it on the template side. I mean, these are the two templates that we have right now. Fantastic. Now, just as a comparison, Yogesh, can you show us, we, you know, we've gone through these two templates. Can you show us what you can expect in Google and maybe a little bit of the differences between what it looks and, and the experience in Taplex versus what you get in Google? Yeah, sure, I can do that. So probably I can uh, show you the... Uh, the demo dashboard that we have on Google. Um, let me stop sharing and then I'll share the Google template as well. Perfect. Okay, I'll share my entire screen and okay. Can you guys see my screen, the yes. Google Analytics one? Mm -hmm. OK, so this is how uh, the templates looks in the in the Google instance or Google interface. Uh, you have acquisition, engagement, monetization, and retention. These are the four tabs they have provided. If you click one of them, like overview, this is how their dashboard looks like. So they have acquisition overview where they are showing the users and new users. Uh, they are also showing the top countries from where these users are coming. And then these are the different uh, widgets that they have shown, um, like new user by first user default channel grouping. These are the sessions. Followed by this, you have lifetime value. And then, so yeah, this is how the acquisition overview looks in Google. And, uh, and this is what we are showing in our platform. Like we have big numbers where we are showing the session, engage session, all these details. And then these are the weekly trends, total user by channel grouping. So most of the things which we are trying to show in our templates is uh, what we have referred to the actual Google uh, platform or the dashboard that they have provided. And uh, instead of like creating the different subsections, we have just created one uh, section which is acquisition and we have tried to capture uh, 
things on a single window. So like you have acquisition overview. And then in this, you have like different uh, widgets or grid widgets or charts, which shows data, which you have uh, over here in different subsections. So not only are we pulling all the data in from your Google Analytics 4 uh, experience, but we're actually trying to give you better visualizations and a yeah. little bit more intuitive organization of the data. So trying to yeah. beat Google at its own game a little bit there, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this is more clear and uh, I mean, you have uh, better visualization on these templates. So that's the beauty. Right. So now not only can you compare and contrast your GA4 data with your campaign data, all within the TapClicks instance using our pre-built templates and dashboards here, but you're getting a better experience using that data or you know, negotiating your way through that data than you're actually getting on the Google platform itself. So yeah. better visualizations than Google and consolidation um, is really kind of the benefit of using GA4 data and experience you get within the TapClicks platform versus having to go through Google itself and, and get that. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Well, as we wrap this up, Yogesh, any tips and tricks for our audience on how to use our dashboards or some of the best practices around the dashboards? I know you mentioned in this one to make sure that you review the, uh, you know, there on the first one, um, review the notes in there to make sure you're having the best experience. But anything else you want to share with people about making sure they get the, the, the best experience here? Uh, I mean, this is definitely important uh, when you're using the on-demand template. I can kind of just explain this, how to... So this filter can be applied at a widget level or at a dashboard level. So it totally depends how you want to use this. But there are certain limitations. Like at a time, you can only assign one uh, client or you can just assign one uh, uh, ID. For example, you can see for click rain, you have different assignments like this one. There are like four different assignments, right? So you cannot build this template on multiple assignment. You basically have to select one of these and then you need to save this. And then you will be able to see data for that particular assignment. Now, for if if suppose you have a, a client which is only having a single assignment, in that scenario, what you can do is you can straight away go to the uh, dashboard filter. You can select that particular client which is having only one assignment, and that will also help you to kind of build a dashboard out of this template. But if in case this particular client is having multiple assignment, then you will not able to see data because I mean, that's not the best way to build template on our system by using the dashboard filters. So this is really important and somebody needs to always keep this in mind. And that's the reason we have mentioned this on right on top of this template. Uh, I think apart from this uh, rest, uh, whatever data Google is providing us, we are able to capture over here. You can go to this uh, uh, plus sign, click on this uh, data widget, and uh, just select the Google Analytics 4. And then, like these are the different data views, those are available. So you have a lot of option. It totally depends on what is your business requirement, uh, what sort of information you want to show on this dashboard. You can always select those data views and uh, select the particular metrics, uh, select the dimension. If you have any time grouping, you can do that as well. You have the style options as well. So select whichever styles you want to show in that particular widget. So we give that flexibility as well. And then you can build a widget out of it. And this is the uh, toggle button that we have uh, in order to select 
the live call data versus the stored data. So, I mean, this is how it works. So these are the best practices that you can always do while building the uh, dashboard out of these templates. Great. And if you have any other questions while building these templates or working through your instance, we do have the support team that's here and very well versed in Google Analytics 4 to help you get that data in and make sure that all your views are correct. You can also reach out to your customer success manager who can help you negotiate through that and uh, navigate through that, I should say, and make sure you get the right support and the right solution for exactly your needs, right? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, you guys, thank you so much for taking us through the templates today. We hope everybody enjoyed that little guide through and uh, we hope you have a great GA4 experience. And again, we know this is new for a lot of people and um, we wanna make sure that you know we're here to support you every step along the way with your GA4 experience. We know there's a lot of data in there and a lot of it's super valuable. And we wanna make sure that you have that tied in with your campaign data and all the other data that you have in here so you can have the best story to tell to your customers possible or if you're a brand, you, you have the best story for yourself possible out there in the marketplace. So thanks everybody for joining and listening to us today. And we hope you have a great GA4 experience. Thanks. Thanks everyone.